as well as there's something else I did as well to help us with our ray diagrams and remembering our ray diagrams. So to make it easier, what I actually have done, and I'm going to have to kind of be close, uh, and I would recommend that you maybe kind of do this drawing type thing, maybe a couple of them with me just to remember. Um, but there's a couple other things I'm going to do to help you out too. So here is what I have done. And this way, the reason I did it like this is because then I'm a lot closer and it's going to be a lot easier sort of for us to do. I know sometimes it's kind of weird for me to like show you the picture, then put the picture down. So here's what I'm going to do. I made a bun bunch of pictures. I'm going to just tape the small thing right here. Is this close enough that you guys can see okay? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. And so here is a reminder of what would happen. And here is a reminder of how you would do a ray diagram. Okay. There are always two rays we like to do. And um, because of something else I have already done, the first ray I always want to do in this pink pen. The second one, when I first did it, I thought this, but because I had already done it for something else, and I'll tell you what, um, I was like, oh, I'll do the second one in blue because then blue is like that. But even though this looks like a blue pen, it actually writes in black ink, okay? So the first one I'm going to do is always going to be in pink ink. So the first thing we're going to do is I will always either A, send you a picture of like, guys, this is what I want the original setup to look like. Um, and... I think I might try to do a little bit of something to move my camera up just a little bit. Um, so we're a little bit closer um, to the way I want to see because it will help us out just a little bit more yet. So hold on just a minute. Let me do something here. Um, but it will also already in the ray diagram give you what it's supposed to look like. Does that look a little bit better, guys? Yeah. All right. So here's the deal. Do you see right here? It says concave mirror. Remember, that would be like the black mirror sitting right here. And remember, your face would be on this side and you're looking for your reflection in that. Okay. Because remember, I said a concave mirror is kind of curved in like that. So I would say, hey, you have a concave mirror and the object is far away. Does everybody see this upright arrow already drawn here? This is the object. Yeah. Okay, so the object right now is upright. It's going the right way. It's standing up. Now, the other day we talked a little bit, and now that, um, Brianna, thank you for sharing that other video with me um, so that I can share that with everybody. I would, re I would maybe recommend you kind of at least listen. Um, one of my classes was like, Miss Jabs, when you shared that video, it was really, really blurry. We couldn't see it very well. And yes, unfortunately, when I share this, it is going to be a little bit blurry, but you can hear me, um, and there's going to be something else I do. Okay. So there's always going to be like writing here and it's going to say what it should look like. And I want you at least to draw your original kind of like this. You guys should all have paper, I believe. Maybe not with you right now today. I'll maybe make that or ask us to, to make sure that next Monday we have paper um, and kind of recreate this drawing. Um, in all reality, if I needed to, and I said, hey, pull this PDF up on your computer, put the paper on your computer and actually retrace this so you know that this is far away. All right. Sorry, long story. In the pink pen, I am always going to start at the top of the object. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight towards the mirror. And that's why I wanted to do it on this smaller paper like this. And again, does everybody see how the top of this ruler is here? And I'm going straight. And here's the funny thing. This, this dark black line I drew in the permit marker is called the main axis. My yellow ruler should be parallel to that main axis. So I'm going to draw this line in here, right there like that. All right. So that is the first, whoops, sorry. That is the first half of what I'm supposed to do. I am supposed to go straight towards the mirror, but does anybody remember what I'm supposed to do after that? Still in my pink pen. Since it is a mirror, it will bounce off the mirror. And where does it bounce through? To, uh, through the, um, I believe the uh, F. Yes. F stands for focus. Ladies and gentlemen, F stands for focus. F 
standing for focus is where all light would bend through. So no matter where I hit this mirror, like even if this object would be taller and it would hit the mirror right here, it will bend through the focus. So in my pink pen still, this is like if I would throw a basketball at the wall, how would that basketball bounce off the wall? The pink one would bounce off the wall so that it went through the focus like that. All right. So the first thing you should do, and what I did in pink, is straight to the mirror and then bounced off through the focus. I'm looking at my screen right now and I can kind of see it um, and it kind of looks nice, but it also kind of, it's kind of hard to read that pink right now with just where it is. So in just a minute, I'm gonna take that off the wall. Don't you worry that you can see it again. But remember in the black pen, I'm gonna do something else. And what I'm gonna do is completely flip what I did. So in pink, remember, I went straight towards the mirror, but then bounced off through the focus. So first I went straight, then I went like through the focus. So this one, I gotta do my second thing first. So I'm gonna put my ruler at the top of the arrow, and then I'm gonna go through the focus. Okay, and again, my diagram right now, it might be kind of hard to see, but notice top, oh, was that somebody trying to buzz in here or something else? Top, my okay, okay, that's fine. I just want to make sure. Um, sorry, guys, I keep on bumping my Chromebook just a little bit from the setup I have. Um, top of the arrow through the focus. And sorry, I might have missed just a little bit there. So that is my first one going in. So when, since I went through the focus first, I now have to bounce off. And so if I bounce off, I now want this line to pretty much be parallel to the that um, main axis again, that dark black line right there. And so right there would be that second ray. And remember when we are doing this, we are always looking do you see right here when we started the black and the pink lines were together and it was the top of the arrow? Where the black and the pink line meet again is gonna be the top of the arrow. But here's the other weird thing. And please listen to this because a couple times when I saw people's answers, they I, I know that when this is the top of the arrow, people want the arrow to always be pointing up. But I gotta tell you something, the base of the arrow always stays on this main axis. So the base of my arrow needs to be here and the top of my arrow needs to be here. That is why guys, when we look into this mirror at the back of the room, hold on just a minute so I can get things kind of set up the right way. If I hold this mirror the right way and I get the right reflection and you guys are looking at the back of the room, do you see the back of the room flipped upside down and all the tables and desks and doors and windows look smaller and flipped upside down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The back of the room is a really far way away. If they were to bounce through there, they would be really small and upside down. Please listen to this. This is something we said the other day in the video that now after school today, hopefully I will be able to share with you. Because those rays actually meet, it is a real image. Because that arrow is upside down or inverted compared to the original, it is a real image. Here is something that might sound kind of interesting, but we talked about it the other day. I'm going to write it on this paper, but it's not going to show up on another thing. How many people would agree that on a mirror, this is sort of what we would consider the right side or the front side of the mirror? Sorry, I'm writing it and then I'll show you. Would you agree, like if I'm holding this black mirror here, the right side of the mirror, the correct side, the front side of the mirror is over here because that's the side that's the glary part. But then the back side of the mirror or the wrong side is over here. Making sense? Yeah. Okay. If the image is on the right side of the mirror, it is a real image. If the uh, image is on the wrong side or the back side, it is a virtual image. All right, so everybody kind of remember that one. Uh -huh. 
Okay, there's a few other diagrams I would go through and I would like you to kind of go through and remind yourself of. So after we are done today, um, I am gonna have you um, maybe look through a few ray diagrams that you can kind of work on on your own. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you would look at this paper, do you see how this one, and I'm gonna talk about something in a second, this one, oh, let me move this up just a little bit. It looks like we're close to the center because C is centered. You see how this arrow is pretty close to the center? We're going to talk in just a minute about when we cross over the center, what that would actually be and how that would actually work. But just so you remember, two things we're supposed to do. Pink pen. First one goes straight to the mirror. Second one goes through the focus. Yes, everybody agree? Those are the same steps. Yeah. So second one, black pen, start at the top, go through the focus, and then straight off. Let me see. Let me get this straight. There we go. That would be straight. All right. And once again, where these meet would be my arrow. It's on the right side of the mirror. It's upside down. That means this image is real. Now, I know it might be kind of hard to tell, and we might have to do a little bit more. But remember, we've talked before, if the object is really far away, the image is kind of close to the focus. I know it might be kind of hard to tell, so let me fold the papers a little bit. All right. As I am getting closer to the mirror, do you see that the image is getting farther away? I know it's really hard to tell between these two, they look pretty close. But if we were in class, we would do like a little bit of layover comparison. I know it's kind of tough, but that's because these are really kind of like that. Oh, sorry. And I realize you can't really see the paper much, but this arrow is starting to move this way. Okay. Because this arrow is moving this way. This arrow is moving that way. And we're going to see that on this next one. And then there's a new concept and idea that I just want to kind of say, I don't know if it will be necessarily a question on the test, but do you notice that right here it says inside center? Because my arrow is now inside that dot that's called the center right there. First one I need to do, straight through focus. And because I know something here, I'm going to make this line really long. Second one, through focus. Straight off. Now, this is going to give it away what I said before, and you're going to notice it too. Hey, the more and more I moved this arrow in, remember the first time I was really far away, away from it, the image was kind of small and right there. I got a little bit closer. It moved a little bit that way and got a little bit taller. I moved inside C. It now moved outside C. It's bigger. It's still upside down. That means it's still real, but it's bigger and upside down. Uh, but it's finally bigger. Guys, this is how, like, and we've talked about this a few times. This is how movie theaters work. The film is really close to the focus, but the screen is really far away. And that's why the screen is so big in the front of the um, theater, because the film is so close to the focus that the image is so big and far away. And we kind of saw that a couple times when I walked out in the hallway and I would show you pictures from the opposite end of the hallway. When the object is far away, the image is small. But when the object is close, the image is big, okay, um, and far away. And so just a few things like that, okay? Hopefully this is all somewhat of a review. 
Two more that I want to do. These are the only ones that will be, I know a couple of times we looked at ray diagrams of lenses, but just because of how our life has been, we are not going to do ray diagrams of lenses for our test, what you are seeing today. And then something else I share with you in a very short amount of time will be all that you kind of need to look at and know for the test time. So here is one that is really weird. And I'm going to turn you towards me for just a minute. Guys, when I tried to show you the back of the room in this mirror, you noticed that the back of the room was upside down and smaller. But you know what this mirror is actually used for? This mirror is actually used for you being really close to the mirror and being really, really close and seeing really, really big. Now, I know it's really weird and hard to see with that black mirror. That's the one that was closer. That's why I was using that one. But let's look at this gray mirror, right? When I'm right here and really close to it, I actually look kind of big, right? And I'm using this to look at myself and see how big I am. Like maybe I have to put my contacts in. Sorry if anybody's freaked out by touching eyes. Maybe I have to see like how my nose is looking or anything like that, right? And so when we get really, really close, wait a minute, was I flipped upside down in that? No. So since I wasn't flipped upside down, that means my image was not real. My image would be virtual. And just a few things we've talked about with images being virtual. Number one, if it's a virtual image, it will be upright. So since this arrow is already going up, my next arrow will also be going up. I've repeated this a lot today, but it might have been kind of new. We know that this image is real, excuse me, on this one, because remember I wrote that this is the front side, the correct side of the mirror. And if it shows up on this side, it's the wrong side. It's the back side. It's the not correct side. So on this diagram, I'm going to go through this one a little bit slower so that we really do know what's going on. And then we've got one more and then we'll um, kind of see how things are sounding for today. All right. Pink pen still goes straight towards the mirror. And then through the focus. Remember, this is a mirror. Sorry, my pen, because I've been writing upright so long, is kind of starting to fade. Let me do something to help that out. Uh, it's not too bad. Okay. But please remember, I'm supposed to bounce through the focus that way. And I'm going to draw one more line just so we can see it really well. And I'm going to draw the arrow going out on that one. Okay. My next one, here's the weird one. Please be listening. Please unmute yourself if you have questions. I am actually supposed to start at the top of the arrow and go towards the focus. But if I would go this way, I would never hit the mirror. So I'm actually going to start here and sort of pre pretend that I trace backwards. So I am going to trace my line, right? Here I am going towards the focus. But since this way is not going to work, I'm actually going to trace this way because that will get me to the mirror. And then once I hit the mirror, I'm supposed to bounce straight off. So this line right here will look like this, okay? And guys, again, please, I'm from the side and all that stuff. Now, here is my question. The pink line and the black line met right here. I need to know where this pink line and this black line meet. And if you remember a couple of the times when I did this, I said, well, if I keep on drawing these arrows this way, they're going to keep on spreading out, not come together. So I'm going to take this line and I'm going to make it go backwards. Sometimes I would make those be dash, just, just so you know. Uh, hold on just a minute. I think I actually have to do something for this one. Sorry, I'm just using, uh, this helps out to use this paper this way. I'm gonna take this pink line. I'm gonna extend it, holy cow, this way. And this is why I had to get this other paper over here. Because remember, if I am looking for where this black line and this pink line intersect, it's actually all the way back here. And guess what's true about my image? It was really, really small, but now it's really, really big. big. And again, Think about looking at yourself in this gray mirror. 
right? If I get kind of close to it, like the way I'm doing it right now, what looks bigger, my real eye or the eye in the mirror? And then if I move it back a little bit, it's hard to see, I know. But these are all things that we would do if we were actually in class right now and I was able to pass those mirrors around and let you see them. All right. One more array diagram I would like to talk through just so that people who are here can hear the talking. And when you watch the video, it kind of makes sense. And then I'll tell you what else we're going to do kind of for our day. Um, the other type of mirror we have is one called a convex mirror. Please remember, for a convex mirror, when you plugged into the equation the other day, you had to plug in the F as negative because F was already on the wrong side, right? F was on the wrong side. So it's already kind of split for us, just so we know. What we do does not change. So my pink line still needs to do the same thing. My pink line is going to go straight to the mirror. This is the part that's weird, though. Because this is a mirror, it's going to bounce off, but it's going to bounce off according to F, kind of like this. So it's going to bounce off kind of like that. Sorry, my ruler moved, which is why I'm going to tell you about something else I've done for you, okay? Right? Would everybody agree if I threw it like that and it had to bounce through F? Oh, hold on a minute. This will help us see it a little bit. Does everybody see that line right there? Like if there was a laser beam going from F, it would bounce right through that dot. Yeah. Okay. Here's the other one. And this one's kind of weird. Ignore the mirror in the middle. I'm going to start at the top of the arrow. I'm going to go towards F. So I'm going to ignore the mirror when I do that. Do you see how my ruler starts at the top and goes towards F? But I'm not going to draw it all the way there because the mirror makes me stop. And once I hit the mirror, I have to go straight off. So I would bounce off this way. And once again, my black pen, just because I've been using it sideways a lot. Give me just a second. If you look at those two, once again, just like before, I want to know where these two meet. So I've got to extend this one backwards. And this is like this. And guys, just as a reminder, and this is another review for your test, the convex mirror, um, hold on, my pen's not working. Hopefully it's coming back. Uh, I'll put it down and I'll show you in just a minute. Um, the convex mirror, yes, from the other day, it's probably a fill in the blank when we do take our test. The convex mirror is like a concave lens. Um, the convex mirror, on your driver's passenger side. Remember how one day before for spring break, I said, hey guys, go sit in your car and look in the rear view mirror, but on the passenger side, that would be what it is because everything looks smaller. And that's why it says everything may be smaller and closer than you think. This is also the, um, this is also um, what we see in the corner of a store like the one that's kind of the curved thing in the corner of the store, that would be what we have, okay? And so um, if you guys would, please, I'm gonna stop taping, okay? Um, but if you would unmute yourself. All right, guys. Um, sorry about that. Let me unmute this real quick. Uh, undo this. So we're going to stop recording. And I'll share that with you. Um, uh, Brianna Jones, for some reason, 